Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the fall 2019 Austin Community College commencement exercises. It is my pleasure to introduce the Board of Trustees and platform guests. Gigi Edwards Bryant, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Mark Williams, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees. Dr. Nora De Hoyos Comstock, Secretary of the Board of Trustees. Nicole Eversman, Trustee. Stephanie Ann Garakanian, Trustee. Dr. Barbara Mink, Trustee. Other platform guests include tonight's commencement speaker, Mr. Massey Villarreal, Mike Midgley, Vice President of Instruction, Dr. Willie Martinez, Interim Vice President of Student Affairs, Shauna Grillo, Presidential Student Achievement Award recipient, Dr. Missy Patterson, President of the Full-Time Faculty Senate and tonight's ceremonial mace bearer. Dr. Mary Harris, Vice President of Inst Institutional Planning, Development and Evaluation. Christina Machura, President of the Adjunct Faculty Association. Noble Udo, President of the Student Government Association. And Linda Terry, Executive Director of Admissions and Records. Also present with us are Joe Larkins Foster, President of the ACC Classified Employees Association, and Courtney Grams, Communications Officer representing the ACC Association of Professional Technical Employees. <laughs> Students, throughout your academic career, you have been guided and mentored by our faculty. I would like to acknowledge the members of the ACC faculty here tonight so please stand and be recognized. I would also like to acknowledge the administrative team and other staff here this evening, so please stand and be recognized. Please welcome Dr. Missy Patterson, President of the ACC Full-Time Faculty Senate. She will be followed by Noble Udo, President of the Student Government Association. Thank you, Dr. Rhodes. Congratulations, ACC graduates. I am incredibly grateful for this opportunity to celebrate your success. In thinking about what I could say to you all, I struggled. I'm a giant marshmallow. <laughs> and each year, ACC graduation makes me cry giant happy tears. And I wondered how I was going to get through this tonight without falling apart on your special day. <laughs> I might still. Um, I found the answer in advice I give to all of my students. When faced with a challenge, reach out to people you trust for assistance. I therefore asked my faculty colleagues what they would share with you at graduation. You may not know that the ACC faculty includes over a thousand counselors, librarians, full-time and adjunct professors, but I know you've experienced their support. I have too. I got so many suggestions, I couldn't include them all. Here are just a few of the actual quotes that your ACC faculty want you to hear on this wonderful occasion. I hope as you hear them, you are reminded of at least one ACC faculty member who's made a difference in your life. Marcella Phillips said, accept help, be open to potential mentors, to people with work and life experiences, to survivors and lovers of life. Accepting help and asking for help are signs of strength, self-awareness, of responsibility, and pride. Blanca Alvarado shared, you have accomplished a huge milestone by graduating from ACC. You are what makes us faculty want to teach and be better at it. Christina McCourt said, we are so happy to have been part of your journey. 
Day after day, you showed your limitless potential, even on those days when it was hard to get out of bed. You did it. Kathy Frost shared, interactions with ACC students have been some of the most meaningful of my teaching life and life in general. My hope for you is that you, as you continue your student or work life, you will remember that all good things begin with meaningful relationships. Some of our faculty are students too. Jack O'Grady says, I often thought I couldn't return to school after so long, even though I had always wanted to finish my doctorate. I watched you balance working full time, going to school full time, kids, parents, and returning to school after a long break. You did it all with such determination and grace. So this year, I, but I'm speaking as Jack, celebrate my graduation with you and share a heartfelt thank you for inspiring me and letting me know I can do it too. Carol Hawk shared, deciding to complete your ACC degree sets you on an exciting trajectory with wonderful possibilities. We can't wait to see what happens next. She should know, Dr. Hawk got her first degree at ACC. I think it is clear that ACC faculty respect, support, and value you, ACC students. The main takeaways I got from the faculty contributions are these. As faculty, we are full of happiness that we've had the chance to support you. We are impressed by you all and full of pride for your accomplishments. We know how hard you've worked and we treasure the relationships we've developed with you. We are inspired by you because you teach us as much as we teach you. Every dream that you have for yourself, we hope you see it come to fulfillment. When you reach your next milestone, please consider letting us know. Maybe send us an email. We are celebrating with you today, but know that this is just one of the many things that you'll celebrate in your life. We'd be honored if you let us share in your future because we know it will be spectacular. Congratulations, ACC graduates. Go River Bats! Awesome, awesome. I, I love the energy in, in this room, and uh, I just want to tell you to, you know, take a couple of seconds and applaud yourself for making it this far. So, you may be sitting there thinking, this is an exciting moment, what's next for me? Now ask the person sitting next to you this question. Why do you care so much about what's next? Or like, actually ask. <laughs> <laughs> so, as student body president, I've had thoughts about what's next for me and my team in my leadership journey, so I definitely understand the anticipation. But listen, you're graduating today, and I want to talk to you briefly about one key element to effecting change, and that is taking responsibility. Taking responsibility means accepting work. And that's something that many of us don't like to hear. In the Bible, Paul said in Galatians 6 verse 4, pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done. Now, Think about that for a second. What does that mean to you? Now, that verse means to me that the benefit of taking responsibility is satisfaction. In some of my classes, you know, sometimes I wouldn't contribute to the group work, and FYI, this was very rare. And you know what I'm talking about, so don't, don't judge me. But when I did contribute, I felt the most accomplished, or you could say, satisfied. 
accepting responsibility gives you contentment, knowing that you did the best that you could do. And when the results come, you know if you actually deserve those results that you received. Now, understanding this helps you change your surroundings through the opportunities that come from taking responsibility. And congrats, it's taking responsibility that got you here in those seats, the gowns, the caps. I wish you the best of success. I hope you maintain the good work that you've been doing so far. And I am very hopeful that you will be just as excellent as the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Welcome to the fall 2019 graduation. Thank you. Thank you, Missy and Noble. Community colleges now enroll more than half of all public higher education students. Not only are we the gateway to higher education and training, but our students perform as well or better than students who begin a four-year uh, colleges and universities. And that's a testament to the quality of our faculty, staff, our programs, and our support services. ACC also has several exceptional programs for developing student leadership. Phi Theta Kappa is a national honor society that recognizes community college students who excel in their academic and community endeavors. The ACC Student Government Association is a voice of the student body. It provides an important link between students and ACC administration. SGA members work to improve the quality and value of the educational experience by acting as advocates for all students. ACC recognizes the graduating students who have been a part of these leadership programs. So with the students who have been inducted into Phi Theta Kappa or have served as SGA officers, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Tonight, we are very pleased to celebrate the first graduates of ACC's Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree program. The program launched in fall of 2018 to meet the growing need for higher credentialed nurses in Central Texas. ACC's RN to BSN program provides registered nurses an affordable route to earn their Bachelor of Science in Nursing. This program is helping many students who might not otherwise have had access to BSN programs to realize their dreams of service in the nursing profession. Would those graduates please stand and be recognized? Thank you. It is my pleasure to recognize Shauna Grillo as the recipient of the Fall 2019 Presidential Student Achievement Award. Shauna is an inspiring example of how to access and leverage the support and resources at Austin Community College to reach your educational goals. As a result of her willingness to learn, her go-getter go attitude, and ability to connect with professors, Shauna has achieved academic excellence at ACC. In addition to academics, Shauna is also deeply involved in Phi Theta Kappa and numerous other community service works, including ACC College Project and Fund Nation. Please join me in congratulating Presidential Achievement Award winner, Shauna Grillo. Well, thank you, President Rhodes. I am now having one regret from my journey at ACC, and that's that I did not take public speaking. <laughs> when I think about 
how I got here today, achieving a degree in higher education at 45 years old, I feel grateful. Grateful for the existence of ACC as an institution, the faculty and staff, my fellow students, and of course my parents. It's the accumulation of these people that made me believe that the saying, it's never too late, is not just an idiom, it is a fact. And that I am deserving of the help of others. I had given up on my college education dreams. The financial pressures, time capacity, the lack of support kept me away. When I found ACC, all of my excuses dissipated. The college was affordable and accessible, responsive to my needs, and one of the friendliest places on earth besides Disneyland. With every interaction with staff and faculty, I grew more and more confident in my ability to achieve my goal of higher education. The more the members of ACC committed to me, the more I committed to myself. I did not want to let anyone down. And I felt like we were on this journey together. There was no shortage of positivity and encouragement. When I first met with my academic advisor about my course plan, I thought I would feel overwhelmed and quit on the first day. Just the idea of going to class for two years consecutively before receiving my associates seemed so far. My advisor empathized with me and created a plan that I could manage. We agreed that I would complete my coursework in a year and a half, and I did. She knew that ACC was flexible and accessible to my schedule and not the other way around. As classes began, professors brought their full self to class. They provided the structure for success right from the start. And again, I am grateful for their dedication. No matter how frustrated, lost, or confused I sounded, they understand, understood what I needed and provided help quickly to ease my struggle. The professors emulated the ideal support system for my learning, non-judgmental, open to doing things differently, and stewardship. I could feel that the professors were there for me and to accelerate my learning. And the best part about each professor was their personality. They made learning fun. Professor Leo and her shoe shopping addiction made economics easy to learn. Professor Purcell's many vacation PowerPoint slides made me want to be an executive accountant for American Airlines, just like him. And no one was more excited than Professor Wells when she told the story about her company's first supercomputer that allowed other machines to talk to each other, and she sent her very first email ever. And Professor Tapia taught me how to become an owner of an NFL football team. Needless to say, I laughed a lot and learned a lot all at the same time. My year and a half at ACC flew by. I will miss my education team and my classmates. I will never stop learning. And ACC has given me a new outlook on how a college community should be. So I leave you with these three things. It's never too late. People want to help you, and you deserve it. So in true Texas fashion, congratulations, all y'all, and good luck. Thank you, Shauna. Isn't she special? And what she said about the faculty, isn't that special? ACC is paying special tribute to some special graduates tonight. Here to continue this tra tradition is Dr. Mary Harris, Vice President of Institutional Planning, Development, and Evaluation. 
Upon graduation from the University of Dayton, Dr. Harris was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Army Adjutant General Corps and received the Distinguished Military Graduate Award. She spent five years as a personnel manager in the Army Training Support Center, the Army Transportation Group, and the Army Broadcasting Company. As a reservist, Mary helped establish the Army Family Team Building Program, a training program for military spouses. Her last position was as the commander of an Army Public Affairs Unit in San Antonio. While there, Mary led a team of journalists and broadcasters in El Salvador, reporting on the Army's humanitarian projects. So please welcome Dr. Mary Harris. Thank you, Dr. Rhodes. Congratulations, graduates. As veterans, we all have stories. The story of taking the oath, the story of why we joined the military. Maybe we joined to earn money for college or because a family member joined. Perhaps a buddy convinced you to join with her. Then there are the stories of your service, of basic training, of oh, dark 30 in the morning runs, breaking in your combat boots, mess hall food, sleeping in a tent, remembering to say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, yes, sergeant, and of hurry up and waits. Then there are the stories of bravery, of deployment, of being away from family, and of the loss of a friend. As veterans and service members, we all have our stories. Tonight is another story. It's the story of you, our veterans and service members, of your service in the military and your decision to further your education. The story of how you navigated the college system after navigating the military, of how you attended classes, sometimes exhausted, and how at times you stayed up late to prepare for a test or to write that perfect paper. And now we are today, here we are today, another story a story of accomplishment. As the daughter of a veteran, the sister of a veteran, the wife of a veteran, and a veteran myself, it gives me great honor to pay tribute to our graduating veterans and service members. Within this graduation class at ACC, we are proud to have veterans who made the transition from the military to the classroom. This transition is not always easy. But at ACC, there is a network of support that was dedicated and committed to help each of you reach your academic and professional goals. As a college, we want to collectively acknowledge you for your academic focus and achievements and thank you for your service to our country. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Rhodes, I just got an amen. You, you need to get an amen. I just got an amen. I just want to throw that out. <laughs> Thank you. ACC is showing its appreciation to you, our graduating service members, with this symbolic medallion. I am proudly wearing mine. Not only is this medallion a recognition of your contribution to our country, it also represents the special achievement you've earned while on your academic journey. A job well done. But my, veteran, but my veteran friends, don't let it stop here tonight. Please continue your story. Let it be about the next thing, whatever that is. Transfer to obtain your bachelor's, master's, doctorate, if those are your goals. Tell a family member or a friend the story of pride and accomplishment from obtaining a college education and encourage her to do the same and tell the story of career success, of career success as a result of your education. Keep telling the story that college is for everyone. At this time, I would like to ask all of our graduating veterans to please, to please stand. Uh, and please remain standing. Congratulations, and please remain standing. And of course, you can't do it without the family members. 
I would also like to ask the family members of our graduating veterans to please stand. <laughs> Thank you for your love and support. I would also like to ask all of the ACC faculty and staff who are service members or veterans to please stand. <clears throat> On behalf of ACC, thank you all for your service. Thank you, Mary. It's now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker. Massey Villarreal is inspiring people of all backgrounds to step into leadership roles. He's achieved great career success as CEO and president of the Hispanic-owned and managed Precision Task Group and was recognized by Hispanic Business Magazine as one of the 100 most influential Hispanics in the nation. Massey was the first person ever to serve as chairman of a local, state, and national Hispanic chamber. In 2016, Texas Governor Greg Abbott appointed him to the Economic Incentive Oversight Board, where he was later made presiding officer. He also serves as chairman of the Hispanic Alliance for Prosperity Institute, which is dedicated to promoting policy and legislation that supports traditional Hispanic values and encourages entrepreneurship full economic participation, and prosperity among Hispanic people. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to our distinguished guest, Massey Villarreal. Thank you very much. Good evening. Dr. Rose, thank you for that great introduction. You read it just like I wrote it. So President Rhodes, distinguished platform guest, Austin Community College trustees, faculty, staff, parents, friends, and lastly, my future, you, the graduates. I say thank you for allowing me to address you on this very memorable evening. I know I stand between you and to getting into that graduation cake or getting into that graduation keg, so I will keep my remarks brief. Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah once said, there's a good reason they call these ceremonies commencement exercises. Graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. So I tell you tonight that this is one of the most memorable events in your life. The best memory of my college graduation was that my sixth grade principal, Dr. David Hinojosa, handed me my diploma. And as he was shaking my hand, he said, man, this is a lot less stress than breaking a paddle on your butt. So I took that as a fun positive. So as I pondered uh, about topics to talk about tonight, it came to mind that we are, living, we are living that great Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. Fake news, Wall Street, Main Street, Russia, impeachment, college admission scandals, Middle East, and the most scariest of issues that I heard last week, shortage of french fries. Man, this is a body by french fry. So, uh, so my remarks may be a little bit simpler, perhaps a little uh, inspirational. I wanna to talk to you tonight about making lemonade. Learn to make lemonade has brought comfort to my life in many ways. You know the recipe. You take tart lemons, add sugar, water, to make a refreshing drink. Pretty simple, right? However, the lemons that I'm speaking about don't grow on trees. They're the sour experiences sometimes we face in life. I believe that my life has been shaped by those tart blessings in my life. Desire, or ganas, and education are the water and sugar that make lemonade out of lemons. Family is the pitcher that holds the lemonade together. So I began my life in Corpus Christi. I am the son of a Mexican immigrant who came to this country over 70 years ago to live the American dream, El Sueño Americano. My dad made 75 cents an hour, worked 75 cents a week, and never complained to anybody. I'm not ashamed to tell you that also, I am a, I am a product of fami the familial correction system and corporal punishment. I am convinced that my mother was a prison warden in another life, and her slipper, her chancla, was a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> I know some of you have felt those. So we were poor and never knew it. We ate, sure, we ate beans and potatoes and fresh homemade tortillas. That sounds pretty good still. 
But while growing up poor, while growing up poor sounds like a broken record to many of you, it sounds like a familiar record to others. I shared a bedroom with two brothers in a small wooden frame home with no air conditioning in Corpus Christi, the capital of humidity. <laughs> talk, about, talk about muggy nights. Those hot, those hot nights gave you plenty to dream about and hope for. Because of my parents' love, their affection, my support, I never experienced those bitter limits of life. I realized early in life that, two, that the only way to achieve my dream was by attending and graduating from college, by squeezing lemons and a attempting to make as much lemonade as possible as I possibly could, I could come out of those poor economic conditions, I graduated from college. But by the time I graduated from college, like many of you, I had a baby. I had an eight month old baby and I did not want her to have to taste the bitter limits of life. So I got my first corporate job upon graduation. Years later, I got bit by the entrepreneur bug. Today I'm blessed to own a multi-million dollar corporation and that eight month old daughter is now the chief operating officer of my company. The three most important factors in business. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. My daughter thanks you. The three most important factors in business, focus, focus, focus. Car maker Henry Ford once said, obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eye off your goal. For those of you graduating tonight, disregard the obstacles in the front page of the paper or what you hear on TV. By virtue of where we live and the grace of God, we live in the best geography in the world, which is most conducive to an environment for making great lemonade. More new deals come to Texas every year than any other state in the country, by, as reflected in the Governor's Cup that Texas always wins, that is reported inside Selection Magazine. So whatever degree you get tonight, I am sure there's someone who wants to do business with you or someone who wants to hire you into their company. I am impressed that Austin Community College has over 100 programs of study or career options. One of the, the biggest reasons for failure in business today is because nobody teaches you how to expand a business. Easy enough to get a website, buy a box of cards, buy a box of letterhead, and then what, right? The new associate degree in, entrepreneurial, in entrepreneurship at ACC in the areas of culinary and hospitality, blacksmithing, welding inspection, metal sculpture, and structure welding will bring much needed business alignment in a great business environment. More and more of us are watching cooking shows. I think most of us are hooked to watching Bobby Flay and Chopped. Well, all those guys are culinary guys and culinary millionaires, which some of you will be one day. Also, ACC understands that education and economic development go hand in hand. So stay tuned as Austin Community College becomes a major player in business creation and just as important, business retention and training for new skills at the Highland Campus. So graduating from ACC gives you so many business and work options that it could be local, it could be domestic, or be international, all within a local drive. Mexico is Texas' number one trading partner. Mexico buys $110 billion from Texas every year. This week, Congress signaled the support of the new uh, the USMCA, which is the new NAFTA. Perhaps some of you tonight will consider foreign trade as a career or business. Or you may ask yourself, what is foreign trade or can I make any, any business at it? So because of the proximity we are to the Americas, I think we're at a competitive advantage. Which reminds me of the story of the two New Yorkers who came to Texas because they thought that anyone could do business with Mexico. So they decided, they decided to start a bungee jumping business so that everyone crossing the border could bungee jump across to Texas. So they set up a bungee jumping booth on the Rio Grande border. After it was assembled, one of the New Yorkers tied the rubber band around his leg and jumped over the side into the Rio Grande with a partner waiting for him to bounce back. After a few minutes, the partner didn't jump back because, and he was concerned for his buddy who didn't come back. After a few minutes, his partner bounces back onto the platform, all bruised, battered, dazed. His partner ran after him and asked him, what happened? He said, I don't know, man, but what's a piñata? <laughs> so by reason of your laughter, I can tell that you understand that we're, we have a competitive cultural advantage in Texas. What I want to do is I want to plant the mantra that you should consider being an employer instead of employee when you graduate from college. I'm not saying that starting a business is easy and that, uh, that it allows you the opportunity to be the captain of your own destiny. If anybody told me on graduation night where, I'm, where you're sitting today uh, that I would be one day 
the CEO of multiple corporations, that I would be an advisor to the White House, that I would uh, represent you, the state of Texas, in China, Mexico, Europe, uh, that I would see my name printed in the Wall Street Journal. My, my parents still don't believe that. Or that I would throw out the opening pitch at an Astros and a Rangers game. Or even that I would even be given a graduation speech. If somebody told me on graduation day where you are, I wouldn't have believed it. But I'm telling you that if you can dream it, you can and will achieve it. However, the most important, thank you. However, the most important that needs to believe this is you. Years ago, I sat back in the editorium and listening to a speaker blast away at a microphone. I said to the next woman next to me, I said, I could never do that. She said, believe in yourself. On a daily basis, one thing that all you have to do is you have to grab for that golden ring. You will miss every attempt at the ring that you do not take. Nobody's going to give you the ring or make it easy, but you, I can assure you, you can get it. I'd like to encourage you to to make a commitment to community service, which has made a, which I made a personal pillar of my constitution. I ask you tonight to invest in your community by volunteering your time, whether it's volunteering at your church, your little league, or your child's class. It will make a difference in somebody's life, but I will tell you it's more important, it will make a difference in your life. As you go out tonight to make lemonade of those tart lemons, I want you to remember that life is tough and full of challenges. There is no real roadmap to success you have to create it with the tools that you learned here at Austin Community College. The burnt orange guys across the street, what they say is what starts here changes the world. However, what finishes at ACC changes you and this community. I'll leave you with a quote from Michael Dell who said, there is no such thing as self-made success except the advice and trust of family. Lastly, if you don't remember anything I said today, I want you to remember that the 10 most powerful two-letter words in the world. If it is to be, it is up to me. Again, if it is to be, it is up to me. As I conclude my remarks tonight, I want to offer you thanks and prayers to the soldiers around the world who are fighting terrorism on their yards instead of ours. I offer condolences to ghost our families who have lost loved ones in the war. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Once again, I want to say thank you, gracias, that it's been an honor and allowed me the privilege of being your commencement speaker today. Go out and make lemonade and make the green lemonade the money. And uh, I wish you health, wealth, and God's blessing. Thank you. So thank you very much, Massey. We'd like to present you with the award of honorary associate degree at Austin Community College. And it reads as follows. Be it known that Mr. Massey Villarreal, for his distinguished service and dedicated friendship to the Austin Community College District, is hereby awarded the degree of Honorary Associate of Arts and is entitled to all the rights, privileges, and honors appertaining to that recognition. In testimony thereof, the Board of Trustees has granted this honorary diploma bearing the seal of the college done this 13th day of December, 2019. I would now like for Board President Gigi Edwards Bryant, to come up and present you with a diploma and the specially designed stole as an honorary graduate of Austin Community College. Along with the honorary associate degree, Austin Community College is designating $25,000 for the ACC Foundation Endowment Fund to create the Massey Villarreal Endowed Scholarship. This will allow students for generations to come to benefit from your legacy as a supporter of higher education and help to strengthen our region by investing in our future workforce. Massey, we value your friendship and we thank you for your service to our nation, our state, our community, and our college. We truly value you as a member of the Austin Community College family. Welcome home. Thank you.
River Bats. It's time now to focus our attention on tonight's heroes, our fall 2019 graduating class. We begin our recognition program with Dr. Charles Cook, Executive Vice President and Provost. Dr. Rhodes, on behalf of the faculty of Austin Community College, I certify that persons listed in the official program have completed the requirements for their degrees and certificates. Mr. President, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Please stand. On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the ACC Board of Trustees, we confer on each of you the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Mr. President, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts. Please stand. On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the ACC Board of Trustees, we confer on each of you the degree of Associate of Arts. Mr. President, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the degree of Associate of Science. <laughs> On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the ACC Board of Trustees, we confer on each of you the degree of Associate of Science. Please be seated. Mr. President, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the degree of Associate of Applied Science. Please stand. <laughs> On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the ACC Board of Trustees, we confer on each of you the degree of Associate of Applied Science. Please be seated. Mr. President, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the Certificate of Completion. Please stand. On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the ACC Board of Trustees, we confer on each of you the Certificate of Completion. Please be seated. Mr. President, Board of Trustees, I would like to present the candidates for the High School Equivalency Diploma. Please stand. <laughs> On the recommendation of the faculty and the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the ACC Board of Trustees, we confer on each of you the High School Equivalency Diploma. Will all the graduates please stand? You may now move your tassels at this time. Please be seated. At this time, Linda Terry, Executive Director of Admissions and Records, will present the graduates. Graduates, will you please stand and come forward? Shauna Grillo. Anahi Benitez. Jessica A. Cadina. Yeah. 
Melanie Castro. Crystal B. Cross. Estefania Espinosa. Melissa P. Hohen. Shonda R. Jones. Diana N. Mondragon. Travis J. Oates. Manuel C. Robaledo, Jr. Melina E. Romo. Donna Marie P. Scarlett. Ruta A. Tadese. Gage K. Talley. Guadalupe Tejeda. David E. Villarreal. Jesus Duran Cortez. Colby T. Hinton. Melissa De La Rosa. Ozini Clo R. Franklin. Araceli Herrejon. Eren M. Bordet. Cheryl D. Mendoza. Abigail Ortiz. Tig Amare. Andrew W. Arnold Busquet. Peter T. Lanz. Ramon Dalot. Valentin Quijada. Danny L. Roadlander. Braun G. Bach. Amir Kasimi. Hamini Akli. Ahmed Baluli. Demetria Anna Gray. Yolanda Gunter. Jason J. Iorio. Ruchi Kundu. Roslyn Jean Ramirez. Punam Takur. Dove Yaffe. James H. West. Amaranda Hernandez Garza. Oh. 
Zachary Merritt. Reagan Barrett. Marlene A. Cantu. Tracy L. Caspard. Lisseth N. Flores. Cormisha LaJoyce Hopes. Rehema E. Lawo. Lauren Ashley Northern. Adriana Ortiz. Olivia G. Pay. Yeah. Marisol Quijada. Yeah. Dominique Rivera. Yeah. Crystal Sacero. Rosa Coloca Sawyer. Vivian Severe. Anna Elishaba Zahariah. Angelica Maria Soriano. Ankita H. Jariwala. She fell ready. Elizabeth Flores. Corema Acosta Rodriguez. Noel Jordan Gregory. Victoria Hall. Jacqueline R. Riley. And Wayne H. Halamarian. After listening to the names of our graduates, I'm reminded of the true multicultural heritage of our students. With that in mind, let me say to them, congratulations, Gang Shi, Felicidades, Pazdrav Liam, Bodhai, Chuka Hamida, and As we congratulate our graduates, I would also like to recognize those that have supported our graduates. So could the children of the graduates please stand? Could the spouses and partners of the graduates please stand? Could the parents and grandparents of the graduates please stand? Could the brothers and sisters, relatives and friends of the graduates please stand?
Graduates, you are all now ACC alumni, and we welcome you to join the ACC Alumni Association. You'll be receiving information about the association's services, events, and opportunities in the coming weeks. A special thank you to the Capital of Texas Brass Ensemble and to Jennifer Stoker, Stephen Nugent, Abigail Capo, and Rebecca Cooper, tonight's interpreters, for providing the sign language interpreting for the deaf. This concludes our ceremony. Audience, please remain seated until the recessional ends. There will be a reception in the upper concourse immediately following the ceremony. Thank you and have a happy holidays and a very prosperous new year. God bless you all. Thank you.